What is your process for all of that? Like, are you taking long walks in the forest, <laughs> contemplating, I mean, or just observing people in daily life? What, what, what do you do when you're in that space? Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if it's necessarily like writer's block necessarily, um, but it is sort of like that. I mean, in, in the case of working with Ryan on the next, on the follow up movie to Some Guy Who Kills People, it's about us kind of finding the project that we both feel. In other words, I guess it would be slightly different if I was just sitting down and writing something, because I could say, okay, right, this is what's on, on my mind now, I'll see if I can, I'm feeling, you know, whatever I'm feeling, so I'm, let me try to find something that, that fits that mood. Um, with Ryan, because we had such an interesting collaboration, um, even though Some Guy Who Kills People and uh, the script was so, I was so sort of wedded to it, I was so like, this is the thing I need to make. You know, Ryan has went through his own process to make, to write that thing. I wasn't there during the writing of that movie. I came in at the end when it was already sort of realized. Ryan has to go through his own process of him finding. So not only am I like in that limbo, he is too. You know, he's trying to find the thing. So sometimes he'll throw out an idea, just working it out. Like, well, what about this thing? And I'll be like, oh, this is fantastic. This is exactly what I want to do. But he may not be as crazy about it as another idea, which I'm not so much into. So there's this weird sort of process we're going through now where it's like, well, what about this? Can we show each other what's interesting in, in these ideas that we're floating about? I don't know. I, I think that um, the only way to get through the process is to... I think sometimes it's, it's helpful doing, like, for example, Trailer Hitch. It's helpful doing, tra it's helpful doing small things. I think even doing an interview, uh, doing a, a really short, it doesn't even have to be a short film, it could just be like a, a one minute long thing where you go out and shoot something. I think that the more that you can sort of exercise that muscle, um, that filmmaking muscle, and actually go out and try some things. Like for example, like my, um, my sister-in-law's uh, had a birthday, and I'm never really good at coming up with presents for, a, I don't know what to buy anybody, and I can't write a card, but I can make these little like, like almost like South Park style animations that I make into a card, you know, and that is a creative, like making, a, like spending a couple hours making a, like a little animated card for my sister-in-law is a really good way of like oiling up, lubing up the, the gears. So I think a writer, like they'll say a writer writes, like the important thing is if you're a writer, you get up and you write, even if you don't know what you're writing about, just to kind of, because chances are if you just keep doing this thing, it is the equivalent of taking a long walk in the woods, except you're shooting or you're typing while you're doing it. It's like something will come out, a word, a phrase, an image will come, and then it'll be like, hopefully that'll trigger the larger, the larger thing. I think that's the way to do it. Otherwise, all I do is brood or worry. If you just worry, like, oh my God, what am I going to do? Like, nothing comes from that. I've done enough of that. I do that anyway. So I think it's important to, to just almost like shoot it out or type it out, you know, because it's out there. It's just you got to arrive at it, and sitting about it and worrying about it isn't going to get you there necessarily. Also, I should be meditating more. I learned a trick. Well, it's not really a trick. It's a whole lifetime. It's a whole life experience. But like one of the things when I was hunting for ideas was I was I learned about David Lynch and and transcendental, transcendental meditation, you know, TM, which is this whole other thing. But like one of the reasons that one of the reasons why David Lynch is such a proponent of, of meditating is that that's where the ideas surface. In other words, you just calm your mind down so that you're not, like all the day's shit isn't spinning through your mind, then the things that are naturally important to you, the idea of being the things that are naturally interesting will bubble up, and then ideas come from that, you know? So that's another thing that I need to continue to do. I did start doing it, actually, around the time I was making Megashark versus Giant Octopus, doing meditation, and it really helped. A lot of things came out of that. So it's everybody's process is different, but it's, um, it certainly is a process. I wish it was a faster one.